President Carter realized on November 4, 1979, that this would ensue for more than a year? No one knew. In fact, the Prime Minister, Bazargan, Khomeini's own Prime Minister, and the Foreign Minister, Yazdi, both said to us, to the administration, this is going to be like a sort of Vietnam era sit-in, they'll be gone in a couple of days. And what changed it was the embrace by Khomeini of the student takeover, which he did not do in February of 79, because he used this as a political pawn, Steve, to rally support behind his radical fundamentalism and push out his own moderate government. There was, and we didn't appreciate this at the time, a huge underlying fight between the more pro-democracy secular nationalists and the radical fundamentalists. John perhaps would have appreciated that, but we did not understand it. It was a new thing for us. What's a radical Islamic government? It's a first in history. We had no idea, and Yazdi and Bazargan and many of the nationalists thought, oh, Khomeini's just going to be a figurehead. He'll be on the sidelines giving sermons, not realizing that he wanted to take over the government itself and make it a radical Islamic government.